The dynamic strength index measures the difference between an athlete's maximal and explosive strength capacity. The DSI gives us a ratio that we can use to identify an athlete's weaknesses. So do they need more maximal strength training or more ballistic work? The two tests we use for this are the counter movement jump, which measures ballistic force production, and the isometric med dipole, which is going to measure an athlete's maximal force production. So let's go through a counter movement jump. We'll get our athletes on the force plates, and what these force plates are measuring are vertical force production. So we're going to start hands on hips. Good deep breath, and we're cueing our athletes to jump as fast and as high as possible. So we're going to jump, land, reset, jump, and reset, and one more jump. Good. So we're doing three total jumps, and we're going to contrast that with three total isometric mid thigh pulls. We're going to use straps for our isometric med thigh pull. What that does, it takes the athlete's grip capacity out of this. We're just measuring lower body maximal force capacity. So we'll get on the plates. We'll strap our athletes up. And we're going to instruct them to pull fast and pull hard into this rack, actively trying to lift the immovable object off of the ground. All right, so we're going to cue our athletes. One, two, three, and pull. Pull as much as they can. Reset. Deep breath. Pull as much as they can. Reset. Deep breath. And one more rep for a third rep. So when we compare these two numbers, we get something called the dynamic strength ratio. And using that ratio, we can program our athletes' programs in the future. So if we're under 0.6, I'd recommend people do more ballistic work. If you're 0.6 to 0.8 in that ratio, We'd call it concurrent training, so just keep doing what you're doing. And if you're above 0.8, we want more maximal force production work.